I was um, sitting here sipping some warm vegetable soup and watching my dogs play. And I ran across a article on the internet about the um, execution of 100 um, sled dogs at the Whistler compound in British Columbia. And I had to stop and ask myself, how and what in the hell have I been participating in that has assisted in creating and allowing and accepting such atrocity to exist within this world. I may not completely understand always how I am um, participating in not only that this particular atrocity but all atrocity here but I know that I am if I'm here in this world then I am responsible for all that exists here I'm just as responsible for those animals and everything here as the man who killed them is it is it because is it because I've participated in thoughts of judgment towards others? Is it because as I've existed in egotistical emotions and feelings as I sit upon my throne of judgment? Is it because I became the judge and the jury and the executioner? Imagine you hustle off to work tomorrow morning and just as you're about to clock in, you get called, picked, chosen to be one of the 100 that are executed. Would you want to run? Just one last time before you're, you're killed? Would you want to ask someone, just let me go run just one more time? No one will hear you because money is God. And God can't afford to, He can't afford to feed you. You know, it was a short walk from work, um, from home to work for these animals anyway. They were chained to their dog houses where they slept. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of the article to you. Okay, um, shortly after the Olympics last year, when the British Columbia tourism slumped, an employee for Outdoor Adventures in Whistler said he was ordered to do the execution-style mass call of a hundred sled dogs owned by the company. It's one of Whistler's most popular activities, dog sledding. He now says that he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder because he had developed a strong emotional bond of mutual love and trust with them. He has now filed a claim and he has received compensation for his actions. And this happened in 2010 of April last year, but up until 
just a few days ago, people were still booking excursions even after hearing of the execution style murders. The owner of the Whistler Company is on the defensive. He says that there was a clear expectation that any euthanization of dogs at Howling Dogs in April of 2010 was that it was to be done in a proper, legal, and humane manner. Now that's interesting because I don't, um, I don't see that if we are executing other beings because the system is not providing for them and there's no money to feed them, there is no proper and humane way to execute these animals, to execute anyone. And the truth is our current money system is, it acts as the, um, in an execution type manner. So I'm going to, um, he also, if you look at this company's website, it's very posh looking, you know, and the area where the dogs were kept is not so uh, inviting looking. So, Outdoor Adventures offers many different activities, and there are three-hour dog sled tours in Sioux Valley, and they sell for $169 a person. And the reports are that the criminal investigation will focus on the man who killed the dogs, but that corporate management would be investigated as well. The man who killed the dogs, whose name has not been released, has claimed it was not his decision to kill the dogs, but that he couldn't afford to lose his job. And um, that's, you know, the way it is, isn't it? What will we do for money? What will we do to another being as long as we have money to provide for ourselves so we don't die? The report dealing with the compensation paperwork that the man completed details the gruesome scenes as he executed and shot most of the 100 dogs over two days. Some were more difficult to kill, and the size of the cull meant he had to kill the dogs in full view of the rest of the pack, leading to a bloody frenzy of wounded, frightened, and angry dogs. The dogs were buried in a mass grave. One dog, Nora, was found crawling around in the mass grave 20 minutes after he had dumped her body into the pit. Others were chased, shot cleanly, or died after their throats were slit. According to the report, the employee was covered in blood when he finished. Also, according to the report, on April 21st, the man wounded one dog, Susie, the mother of his family's pet dog, who managed to run away despite having the left side, the left side of her cheek blown off and an eye hanging from um, its socket. The rifle with a scope was used to kill her from a distance, and that bullet passed through her and seriously wounded Poker a dog that wasn't slated for execution, but he ha later had to be killed. On April 23rd, one dog who had part of its head blown off attacked the man after he ran out of ammunition. He killed the dog with his knife, slitting its throat while it was on top of him. The report said the man who had named and raised many of these dogs has continued to deteriorate mentally and emotionally since the incident. Um, this man's name has not been released, however, in a, in a December 2010 posting on a website forum for trauma sufferers, a Whistler resident named Bob Fawcett, an award-winning dog sledder, wrote, I've had a pretty horrible ordeal and actually figure I may be able to be a good sounding board for others, and it has pretty much destroyed my soul. And I'm... Um, when you go to the website for this company, there's a many gorgeous pictures of these animals, and I'm posting them as I am sharing this. Um, you know, it's interesting that that we commit these acts here in the physical after we've fantasized them and brought them forth from within our minds, and then we wonder why we're experiencing ourselves as um, traumatized. I mean, we've traumatized ourselves within the very act of participating within the thoughts, the feelings, and the emotions, and the beliefs 
and within participating within the current money system. As we participate within the current money system, we continue to support ourselves in insanity. Um, it's interesting that people want to say that they want to refer to them, their souls. I mean, if there ever has been such thing as a soul, it's been worthless. You can't see it. The only thing about a soul is that you're imagining it in your mind. You know, you're deter we, we, we deteriorate due to our um, our corruption within our minds. And then we bring forth that corruption onto this world and then we continue to accept and allow it. And, you know, that quote from the Bible, um, gosh, what is it? It's, what is it? I am the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Well, that's the truth, isn't it? We just keep cycling around the same shit over and over and over. And we're taking out innocent victims along the way. We have to stop ourselves. We have to stand and we have to support an equal money system. And we have to stop what we've accepted and allowed to face ourselves in self honesty. And we've got to forgive ourselves so we can stop killing ourselves. Support an equal money system. Visit www.equalmoney.org and um, Let's begin to bring an end to atrocity. Thanks.